Hello and welcome to the channel again. Ever since Penventure started carrying writing instruments made from celluloid, I wanted to make a video on this topic and share with you my knowledge and also the big do's and don'ts when it comes to owning a writing instrument made from celluloid. We are going to start with the most basic question, what is celluloid? Well, celluloid is a plastic-like material obtained from cotton fibers and the process of making celluloid is very flammable due to the chemicals used, mainly camphor. This material started to be produced around 1860 and it became very popular due to the low cost of making back then and also the variety of colors it can have. Question number two, where is celluloid used? Well, celluloid wasn't mainly created to be a pen material and it was mostly used at making photographic films, toiletry articles, frames for eyeglasses and the writing instrument industry only used what was left from those main industries. 3. Why do celluloid pens demand such a high price? Well, lately there is a hype going on about celluloid pens and this has to do with the fact that celluloid isn't produced anymore in our days and the current remaining stock of celluloid is being used to make new pens. In order to better understand this concept, just imagine a scenario where the entire gold reserve of earth would be extracted and we couldn't mine any more gold. So the price would go up immediately and the demand would be insane. 4. Why celluloid can't be produced anymore? Well, this is very simple. It has to do with the strict regulations regarding the manufacturing process and also with the current economy. The process of making celluloid involves a lot of flammable materials and heat. And as you may know, they don't go well together. With the current strict environment regulations, most of the big manufacturers decided to close their doors. Regarding the current economical climate, I can only say that the pen market doesn't consume that much celluloid in order to make it viable for someone to start producing it. Well, as I previously told you, the use of celluloid as a pen material was secondary. Five. Is there still anyone producing celluloid in our days? Yes, as far as I know, Montegrappa is the only company who is still producing the celluloid used on their own pens. But in order to do that, they had to follow some strict rules, like for example, they had to move the manufacturing process of celluloid in a different building due to the fire hazard. The material takes years to cure under pressure and temperature, and finger crossed, for Monte Grappa to still produce celluloid for many years to come. 6. What is to be avoided when owning celluloid pens? First, treat the pen material like it's natural and alive. Celluloid is known to behave according to the environment around it. Avoid direct sunlight and heat. These two alone may cause your pen to warp, crack, melt, and in the most severe cases, even catching fire. Secondly, store your celluloid pens in open cases. As it's curing, celluloid over time will emit a gas due to the camphor used in the manufacturing process. So if you keep your pens sealed in a pen case or in a pen sleeve, that gas may attack the metal parts of the pen or the pens around it and corrode them. In the most severe cases, it can attack the surface of the celluloid itself. 7. What are the advantages of owning celluloid pens? Being a limited quantity of celluloid at this time in the world, it's a sure bet to invest in such a writing instrument because it will cease to exist in a few years. This will give you the pleasure to own and use a writing instrument made from this iconic material, but also the quick and easy flip once you're ready to let it go and capitalize on your investment. And now for the final question, what do I find so attractive at this pen material? Here I will speak with my heart. I love this pen material the most. It has a very interesting way of portraying a color. It has depth like no other material has. And the pattern of the colors is complex and it's changing with the overall shape of the pen and the way the material was cut, horizontally, vertically or diagonally. Well, this is it. I hope you find this video useful. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. If you're interested in owning a celluloid pen, I will leave you a link for the Pen Venture website. You can go there and check our inventory. 
Don't forget to subscribe to the Pen Venture YouTube channel and give this video a thumbs up. Also, if you want to have daily updates about us, go and follow our Instagram account and visit our Facebook page. Links for them you will find down below. My name is Amy and I look forward to seeing you next video.